hey guys so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to install flutter in our android studio ide that is helpful in building flutter application uh, by which you can develop application for android ios windows web and other uh, desktop application okay so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to integrate flutter into your android studio to build flutter application so let's get started so in this tutorial i'm going to install each and everything from the scratch including android sdk Android Studio, uh, Flutter SDK, uh, and other uh, other uh, backend development kit that is required to build Flutter application successfully. Okay, so here in the documentation of Flutter website, they have provided some uh, system requirement. The operating system should be Windows 10 and above. So mine is Windows 11, and the disk space required is 1.6 GB, and for the tools uh, for a compatible of uh, Flutter SDK, uh, we need a Windows PowerShell that has been inbuilt in our Windows uh, system and we also need GET to be installed in our uh, Windows. Okay, so it has been used for uh, command prompt, uh, command line arguments. Okay, so here uh, there are some SDKs that you need to download to integrate all the things at once. Okay, so first thing is we need to download Android Studio IDE. Okay, so I'll just provide the link of this website to download each and everything in my description. So Android Studio is required and then uh, that is required of Flutter SDK that is the zip file. You just need to click on this button to download it. And we also need get git to be installed in Windows. And we also need uh, SDK Java development kit in our system. Okay, so these are the requirement. So I have already downloaded those files. So let me show you. So these are the files that I have already downloaded. So these are the installation setups. So Android Studio, Get, Flutter SDK package and uh, SDK. Okay, so let's install one by one. So first of all, let me install Android Studio. Okay, now so before installing Android Studio, what I will do is I will just install this uh, SDK development kits and everything. So first, let me install Java SDK. So just click on this installation setup. Okay, so just click on next, next to, to install Java in your system. Okay, and then next, let's install Git. Okay. So while installing git make sure that you click on this new get add into a terminal so this is very important so that you can just make use of git from a command prompt okay next okay so everything just keep it as it is so there is no need to make any changes so by default whatever it is suggesting just keep it as it is and do click on next Okay, so git has been installed. Okay, so let me open my command prompt. Okay, so let me enter git. So you can see git has been installed. So let me enter Java. Then so it is giving me an error. Virtual machine is not there. So let me check this. So you can see my Java version has been installed is 20. Okay. And now we need to set up uh, next thing that is Flutter SDK. So before doing that, just in, we will just install uh, Android Studio in our system. Okay, so this may take some time so that uh, it, it need to extract everything and download some requirement files from the internet. Okay, so start the Android Studio. Okay, so the Android Studio started. So this is the first window screen. So here there are some configuration that needed to be done uh, when you installed uh, Android Studio for the first time in your system. So here you can see it. You need to have good internet connection so that uh, it can download all the requirement things like SDK and whatever that is required to build Android application. So we need to download all this SDK version and everything. So just click on next 
ओके एंड जस्ट एक्सेप्ट ऑल द लाइसेंस दैट इज बीन आस्ड ओवर हियर सो दिस आर दिस इज अ वेरी मेडिटरी स्टेप सो दिस मे टेक सम टाइम एज आई नीड टू डाउनलोड वन पॉइंट एट जी बी ऑफ पैकेजेस एंड एवरी थिंग सो आई विल जस्ट पॉज द वीडियो ओवर हियर ओके सो अंटिल दिस गेट डाउनलोडेड लेट्स सेटअप अवर फ्लटर एस डी के सो हियर इन माई डाउनलोड्स आई हैव अ जिप फाइल दैट इज बीन डाउनलोडेड फ्रॉम दिस ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट सो यू जस्ट नीड टू एक्सट्रैक्ट इट सो दिस इज एस डी के ऑफ अवर फ्लटर सो यू कैन जस्ट एक्सट्रैक्ट इन सी ड्राइव और एनी ड्राइव वेर यू वॉन्ट टू सेट यूर फ्लटर एस डी के सो वट आई डू जस्ट कीप माई फ्लटर एस डी के इन सी ड्राइव आउटसाइड इन द रूट डिरेक्टर इट सेल्फ ओके एंड हियर लेट मी एक्सट्रैक्ट दिस ओके सो इट इज जस्ट गेटिंग एक्सट्रैक्टेड ओके सो यू कैन सी द फाइल हैज बिन एक्सट्रैक्टेड ओके सो द फोल्डर नेम इज फ्लटर विंडोज एंड सम वर्जन एंड देर आर सम स्पेशल सिम्बॉल एज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर डॉट इज देर अंडर स्कोर इज देर so make sure that there is no uh, folder name with such name so it should be very simple like alphabet so you can see this is the flutter sdk so what i will do is i will just uh, move this folder outside so i will just cut it from here and i will just paste it over here okay and there is no need of this folder now okay so you just uh, need to do this so this should be the path of your flutter sdk directly uh, flutter that is the name or of the folder or you can just name it anything as per your need so make sure that there is no special symbol such as uh, at the rate hashtag dollar or any symbol so it should be simple name okay and there should be such files okay so this is the sdk okay so now you just need to set a environment variable to this path so that uh, your Windows operating system can make use of Flutter SDK from command prompt. Okay, so just search for environment variable. Okay, so this is system environment variable. So just go to environment variable and over here, just on in the path direct uh, variable you can just edit it, and here you just need to give the path of this folder. Okay, so here. this one okay so just copy this thing and paste it over here okay and in the system variable also there is a path variable so just edit it new paste it okay so after doing this just close apply and next okay so let's check if our flutter is working or not so in your command prompt just enter Okay, so I just need to restart my command prompt. Okay, so here let me enter Flutter. Okay, so you can see the Flutter is not recognized because I need to restart my system for the environment variable to be completed. So in the meantime, my Android uh, setup has been still in pending. So after doing, after completing this, I will just restart my system. So until that, I will just pause my video recording. Uh, so sorry i just made one mistake so actually in my environment variable over here uh, in my environment variable i have just give path still flutter folder i actually i need to give path till bin directory so this is the actual path i need to give in my environment variable path variable okay so let me delete this and add again so this is the actual path of my sdk so just update it so is note it and update it okay so here also same i'll just delete it and update this thing okay so let me check once again if it is working no okay so now you can see the flutter is been working so it may take some time because flutter has been recently flutter sdk has been recently added into our system so you can see it is giving all the details of flutter how to use it i think so download has been completed my of my android studio okay so now uh, here uh, before creating any project there are some plugins that you need to uh, install in your android studio ide to build or work with flutter project so just go to plugin and here uh, first of all let's install flutter uh, plugin so just install this thing 
okay so you can see it is also saying to install that uh, plugin so just install that also okay so that me check if that is installed yeah so it is installed so i need to restart my ide here i was just getting an option so just restart your android studio ide for the latest update okay so it is it has been done so now let's create a new flutter project so you can see here i'm getting an option to create new flutter project and after restarting our ide you, you can create your flutter project by going to flutter tab, project tab over here flutter project and here uh, create uh, click, uh, select flutter over here select the path of your flutter sdk where it has been installed then next and here just give your flutter project name so i will just name it as first flutter project okay and for which platform you want to build your flutter uh, project uh, you can just select everything or you can just select whatever that you want so i will just select android and web application and which language you should use by default uh, for android ap application and ios application okay and just click on uh, next button to create a flutter project okay so it is just creating a new flutter project for you so it may take some time so it may take some two to three minutes because it is the first uh, flutter project that is being created in this system okay so as you can see our first flutter project has been created and this is the default counter code given by flutter uh, while creating new flutter project okay so let me run this project in my browser because i don't have any mobile device connected right now so i'll just run this project in a web browser so let's wait until the code get compiled okay so our flutter project has been running on a browser you can see over here so this is just a simple counter app so there is a button so when this button is been pressed the variable will get incremented by one so this is as simple as that okay so that's all for this video tutorial this is how you can just install android studio and configure it with your flutter sdk to build flutter application so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol respond thank you